All Eyes releases on September 2nd in Select Feed is on digital and I've got to give a big thank you to the awesome folks over at Gravitas Ventures for the early screener and all I'm going to say is where do I start with this movie? I've got a lot of thoughts so stick around. Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome to this non-spoiler review for All Eyes and thank you for taking your own time out to check out this video. I'm not going to be going into any spoilers here, but I may touch on some stuff that is in the trailer and little clips you may see throughout this. And I may also touch on one or two little minor things, but if I do, I will give you a bit of a heads up. It's directed by Todd Greenlee and it's written by Alex Greenlee. I don't know any of Todd Greenlee's previous work so this is a brand new introduction for me into their work and essentially the plot of All Eyes is all around a disgraced podcast host gets invited out to do an interview with kind of an eccentric farmer who believes there is a monster living in the woods near his house. The film stars Jasper Hammer, Danielle Ploger, Ben Hall, and Laurie Cummins. So just to give you a little bit of context around this, so Jasper Hammer plays this disgraced podcast host, Alan Wolf, who pretty much in the first kind of five minutes of this movie, you find out why he's kind of like a disgraced podcast host and it kind of then gets into things. Now the movie itself is maybe an hour 20, hour 25 tops if that, obviously excluding kind of credits. And then we've got Ben Hall who plays a character called Don. Now one thing leads to another after kind of the beginning and Ben Hall's character Don, basically Alan has this box where people write stories into him and he kind of covers them on his podcast and Don has a story, believe that he's got this monster near his farm, near his house. However, his wife has passed away. He wants Alan to come out to kind of cover the story and he'll also pay him for doing so. But when he gets there, Alan realises that it was Don's wife who really loved him and loved the show, but Don does not like him whatsoever. And I had to kind of give that kind of brief synopsis and a little bit of explanation about in a way this movie goes because it touches exactly into my positives and negatives. So what I'm going to say in terms of the positives for this movie is I found that throughout it, although it is a shorter runtime, I wasn't bored at any point throughout this movie. I thought, okay, there was certainly enough there to keep me intrigued, keep me invested in terms of, okay, well, what is this monster exactly that's living behind the farm? Is it just some kind of like myth, like a legend, does it actually exist? Because Ben Hall's character Don is adamant this thing exists. And as the movie goes on, there may or not be proof that it does or it doesn't. I'm not going to tell you guys. I like the fact that it didn't kind of waste too much time as to why Jasper Hammer's character is a disgraced podcast horse. And then this is kind of set up with Ben Hall's character of Don. That was kind of in with like the first 10-15 minutes of this movie, which was pretty good. Going into the third act and the last 35 minutes of this movie is absolutely no hold barred crazy. Yeah, I absolutely loved it. And it, it was just so, so good. And I wish the movie had more of that, but I will get into that in a moment. And I would also say that the performances all around were good. I can't say that anyone was terrible here. I can't say that anyone gave a bad performance or anything like that. And our kind of lead character of Jasper Hammer, at first, he's kind of this kind of like pretentious podcast host. He's not a likable guy. He doesn't really care about anyone or anything like that. So at first you dislike his character quite a lot. But as the movie progresses and as a lot of movies does, it kind of makes you feel sorry for that character or gives you a reason to kind of maybe root for them a little bit. And this movie certainly has inklings of that. So I definitely felt at times I could root for him. And then there's times where I was like, yeah, he's such a flout dick. <laughs> well, I couldn't really root for him. I also say that this movie shot also pretty well. Like the cinematography was nice to look at. You can tell it was definitely like a lot of on-set locations and not just in like a movie studio. And also the music in this movie was done good as well because it was a case of when the music was playing, it amplified certain scenes that was either really suspenseful, whether it was light-hearted or whatever the tone the movie was actually going for at that time, the music was playing in 
to that. And there's also a few things here where practical effects are used, and I think they're used pretty darn good. Yeah, this movie, I'm going to say in the last kind of 35 minutes, it gets very kind of bloody gory and a little bit kind of graphic and body horror ish to an extent so definitely be prepared for that because i certainly wasn't and i was like yeah okay i'm on board for this in terms of any negatives that i have for this movie okay so this is where i'm a little bit divided because because don't get me wrong overall i can say that i had a good time with this movie and i really enjoyed the last act of this movie which the first two obviously helps build it up but in particular the third act was the strongest now the only kind of downfalls that i have with all eyes is the fact that our main two characters of jasper hammer who plays alan and ben hall's character of don now right off the get-go we know that don does not like alan this podcast host at all and he's purely inviting them out to help capture this monster and it's kind of like something that his wife would have loved before she passed away because she loved his show so straight away you've got this friction between these two characters and don does not like alan whatsoever and you can tell that alan is just there for the kind of i think it was like 20 25 000 dollar paycheck that he's offering for him to come out to the farm so of course straight away you've got this tension with these characters that don't like each other whatsoever and i really kind of wish that the movie's dialogue played into that a little bit more because there's times where you know alan is trying to get like a podcast interview as such because obviously he's going to use any material he gets to try and make an episode into the future of this story and i wish he kind of maybe played on like don's humor which was very dry very subtle and just like straight to the point and i wish he kind of played on that more like a little bit maybe of a joke to like wind him up a little bit or maybe try to break it barrier down a little bit to like actually try to connect with the guy we get inklings of that for sure but not exactly like a hundred percent where i felt like the dialogue could have really kind of helped build that relationship and chemistry between the two actors which the movie wants us to buy in as it progresses and i think that would have maybe been helped a little bit more with kind of maybe like five ten additional minutes added on to this movie whether it is a little bit more about alan's podcasting right at the beginning or whether it's about their relationship i felt like the movie could have used that and the only other kind of like last gripe that i've got is this monster idea that is in this movie now again i can't tell you if it's real or if it isn't because of spoilers any kind of snippets we might get of like images or anything that of this monster i wish we got more of it because i feel like the more we would have got of it the more we can buy in to the creature overall but i feel like at times the movie doesn't provide that or very little of it and it's a bit of a wasted opportunity in my personal opinion but with all that said with my positives and negatives i just want to reinforce that i actually had a good time with this movie i enjoyed it the last act of it completely saves the movie and it goes all out and i wish we had more of that so all eyes releases september 2nd in select feeders and on digital are you going to be checking it out leave any and all comments below if you agree with me or you disagree with me let's have a conversation down there but in the meantime my overall score for all eyes is a three out of five stars so if you've enjoyed this review please give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel if you already haven't and i'm also going to give a big awesome thank you to my awesome people who support me on patreon and some fantastic people at that as well they also have some youtube channels so if you want to join my patreon also it is only two pounds per month the link is in the description box below you get access to early videos my content schedules you get a say in what videos you want to see on my channel or exclusive polls i put in there and so much more stuff coming very soon but my awesome patrons is adam from his channel over at what the gym elliot from his channel at imo reviews AJ Ford at his channel, AJ Ford, Tyler Bab at his channel, Tyler Bab the Rendered Image, Jason from his channel, Jason the Old Millennial, D Movie Man from his channel, D Movie Man, Josh at Classic Reviews, and Michael O'Brien, who I don't believe has a YouTube channel. But yeah, I just want to thank all my awesome patrons, and again, it's only two pounds a month if you want to join below. But thank you so much for tuning into this video, and until the next time that I see you, I'll be seeing you later.